Hello, 3D printer peeps. Hello, Bamboo Lab users. I'm here with the Doro Nozzle 0.6 Ruby tipped E3D rapid change nozzle compatible nozzle. That's a whole lot of words to say that this hot end is compatible with E3D rapid change nozzle hot ends. These are hot ends such as the BQ Panda Revo here in my P1S, as well as any other hot end compatible with E3D rapid change nozzles. That includes the BQ Panda Revo for the P1P, P1S, and X1C. This nozzle is ruby tipped when working with abrasive filaments such as carbon fiber or glow in the dark, you will want to work with a harder nozzle intended for use with abrasive filaments, such as hardened steel, ruby, tungsten carbide, or even diamond. When working with abrasive filaments and a harder nozzle, you will also want to pair that nozzle with a hardened steel gear. Together with a hardened steel gear, you will create a filament path from the extruder to your print bed that is intended to deal with the abuse of abrasive filaments. This is a third party nozzle from Doro Nozzle. This one has the Ruby tip. Tungsten carbide would cost roughly $10 more than Ruby and diamond would cost roughly twice or more as much as Ruby with hardened steel costing less than all of them. Unless you're printing in really extreme conditions with really extreme filament and doing it a lot, hardened steel or ruby should be sufficient for you. Let's get this installed and see how she works. This is an E3D compatible rapid change nozzle. That means we will be changing the nozzle cold with nothing but our two fingers. You can unscrew this with the cover on. It might not be a terrible idea to pop this cover off. Be sure not to pinch the black rubber. That is your ceramic heater. Pinch just the colored rubber. If you remove the hot end and there is some filament in it and the filament is soft enough, go ahead and pull it out. That would be called a cold pull. If it's fully cool and hard, go ahead and snip the filament at the end of the heat break. Your next print should push it through just fine. Performing a retract should avoid this. In the event it doesn't, this is what you do. Grab your ruby nozzle and slide it up into the heat break. Righty tighty, screw it in. Continue to screw until you see the nozzle go flush with the heat sink. Before using this nozzle, you will want to pop in to Bamboo Studio and set up a profile. This is a high flow nozzle. So even if using a 0.4 Ruby nozzle, you will want to make some changes to take advantage of that high flow. If you are using a 0.6 or 0.8, you will want to make additional changes to tell Bamboo Studio which size nozzle you are working with and to increase the layer height. Let's check that out now. I will show you how I set up the Revo 0.4 nozzle, since it will be the same for the Ruby, and then we will change that to a 0.6 nozzle. Go ahead and make a 0.4 Revo profile. Please keep in mind, this profile as I am about to show you was successfully tested with an original E3D 0.4 rapid change nozzle. I do not have the 0.4 ruby tipped nozzle. If you are using the Dora nozzle 0.4 ruby or other tip, you may need to make small adjustments to this profile. Those adjustments would likely be minor temperature changes and minor reductions in speed or volumetric speed. Making those small adjustments using a test model such as this dog 
to review your results should easily get you on your way. With the Revo installed, it's time to change your filament profile to take advantage of the high flow nozzle. BQ is suggesting changing it to a whopping 35 to 40. To do this, we will enter a filament profile. First, let's have a look at what it's set at now and what our print times look like. To enter a profile, click right here. I'm gonna look at my Creality Ender Brown Filament. Click this pencil and paper right here and scroll all the way down to max volumetric speed. 21 is already on the high side. I am also going to change the speed to more reasonable 200 MMS across the board. And we'll slice the plate. You will see our print time is one hour, nine minutes. Don't worry, changing these speeds will not affect your print time all that much. As you can see, it's still showing one hour, nine minutes with the original speeds. Let's go ahead and slice it at 21. You will see a doggo print time of one hour, nine minutes. I also don't like this Z seam. We will change it to back. That's better. One hour, nine minutes. Let's click into here and I will change this to 35. Press save. I'm going to rename it Revo so that I can use this profile with other printers that don't have the Revo high flow nozzle. Press OK, X out, and you will now see I have Creality Ender Brown Revo as well as my original Creality Ender Brown. Switching to Revo, let's go ahead and slice the plate. You will see it's showing the same amount of time. However, this is a high flow nozzle, so I feel better bumping the speeds up. I'm not going to go crazy just yet. Element profile and looking at cooling. I'm going to reduce the minimum layer time from 10 seconds to 6 seconds and the minimum print speed from 20 to 30. Unless you have very small features that need to be printed, I would recommend keeping this number very low. I'm going to press save and OK. I'm then going to go ahead and slice the model. Would you look at that? We're down to 52 minutes. We can go even crazier and reduce this number even more. If you want to really go crazy, tell the machine not to slow printing down for better cooling at all. Save that, slice the model, and holy cow, 44 minutes and 34 seconds. This is just to demonstrate that just because the nozzle is capable of higher flow doesn't mean the software knows how to use it. You will need to work with your slicer, run some tests, try different filaments, and see what your results are. Different filaments may perform better or worse with different flow speeds and cooling. Also, different mods may affect this as well. It's not a black and white topic. Let's go back into our filament, drop our minimum layer time to five seconds, recheck slow down printing, but I'll reduce the minimum speed to 40 seconds, a little more conservative, press OK. I will bump this up a touch more. And slice that plate. We are looking at 48 minutes total time. Let's have a peek at layer time. Here you can see a very stable layer time of roughly five seconds throughout the entire print with some of these top layers here on the feet and here on the head being a little bit slower. And the very top of the print being even slower than that. Reducing the printer's ability to slow the print too much can cause you trouble with print quality. As you can see, these are very small layers, so each layer is printed very quickly. The layer time is very small, especially for small details like this. If the layer doesn't have enough time to cool, the next layer 
will just twist and deform that layer and you will have a trash print. So go ahead and learn to work on a balance between pushing your speeds and maintaining proper quality. Moving up here to speed, you can see how the printer slows things down in order to be sure it can print overhangs properly and top surfaces and small surfaces properly. Let's go ahead and create a profile for the Dora nozzle 0.6 ruby tipped nozzle. I did not push this nozzle hard. I have created a profile that will create a successful print for you. You may go ahead and push this profile further should you feel the need. We have just set up a profile for the 0.4 nozzle and created a filament profile and called it Revo. Now we are going to switch to 0.6. The first thing you will need to do is tell Bamboo Studio that you have a 0.6. You do that by clicking this gear right here next to printer. This screen will pop up and you will scroll down and click 0.6 nozzle. Confirm. If asked to use modified values or discard modified values, choose discard. You will notice the 0.6 profile uses slower speeds than the 0.4. You will also see you now are in the 0.6 profile. This pull down menu will now offer 0.6 or 0.4. Now that we've told Bamboo Studio what size nozzle we are working with on this project, we also need to tell it which nozzle is physically installed in the printer. To do that, you will click on device. Here on the device screen, make sure the printer with this nozzle is chosen. Mine is called Angel. Then click over here to printer parts. In here, you will change the nozzle type to hardened steel. You will change the nozzle diameter to 0.6 or whatever diameter you are using. It's important to note, you only have hardened or stainless. Stainless steel only offers 0.2 or 0.4. Regardless of the material you are using, if it's harder than stainless and larger than 0.4, you will set Bamboo Studio to hardened steel. This will give you access to those larger sizes. I will choose 0.6, press the X button and return to prepare. Here you will see you now have access to larger layer heights. These layer heights will save you print time. Looking at 0.24, slicing the plate, you will see our print time is down to 36 minutes. Moving to 0.3 and slicing the plate, you will see our print time is down to 31 minutes. As we go bigger, which this larger nozzle can handle, our print times will come down. With smaller print times come larger layer heights. These larger layers may create more visible layer lines. You can make these decisions based on the needs of the model and based on the detail level of the model. I will work in the middle ground at 30. We are currently in our Revo filament profile from the 0.4 nozzle, and we will now adjust this a little bit for the 0.6. Because of the different material tip, you may need to adjust your nozzle temperature. I would make small adjustments at a time. We will start at 225. Because this is a new material and a nozzle we are not familiar with, you may want to lower your max volumetric speed. I will bring this down to 28. That's a dramatic drop from what I've tested with the official Revo nozzle at 0.4. However, it's still well above your standard max volumetric speed. Any setting involving speed should be set on the conservative side and then bumped up slowly once you've seen success at a lower speed. For our first test, let's go even lower 
to 26. I am going to bump the temperature to 225. You are welcome to test at 220. If you see layer adhesion issues, temperature might be worth looking at. If you see horrible print quality in general, volumetric speed and print speed will be worth looking at. I am going to go ahead and press save and we're going to change this to say Revo Doro Nozzle 0.6. To me, it's important to type in Doro Nozzle because this is a third party brand and we want to be sure we remember this in the future. I will add Ruby and we will go ahead and press OK. It's been saved. Now you can X out of here and you'll see we are now in Revo Dora Nozzle 0.6. You will notice print speeds are much lower for the standard Bamboo 0.6 profile. For our test print, we'll keep it that way and press slice plate. You are looking at an impressive 31 minute doggy. Being conservative with speed and flow has still presented us with much improved print times and we can always run tests to bump those things up a little. Keep in mind when increasing print speed and volumetric speed, you may need to move your temperature up just a little bit along with it. I will be sending this to a P1S with some brown filament. I'd also like to remind you, not all filament is created equally. Some filaments, especially in modern times, are designed specifically for faster printing. These filaments are made to melt and be smoother and softer and flow more freely through larger nozzles, pushing filament at faster rates. You may need to experiment with the filaments you typically work with, finding that some filaments will handle the higher speeds better than others. Here is the Dora Nozzle 0.6 ruby tipped test dog. And here is the E3D 0.4 nozzle that came with the BQ Panda Revo. I cannot speak for the longevity of the build quality of this nozzle yet, nor the results I will get in the future from continued tinkering, but initial results show promise and that the nozzle may be worth your time to see what you think for yourself. I'm Greg Adventure, and you're on 3D Rundown.